today I'm going to show the way the carving of the glass that I do show how it looks to me that no one else sees how it rises up into the glass actually what I'm doing is carving the material away but the shapes will look like they're rising up into the glass I've really taken this idea that oh you're using computers it's not art and turned it on its head I'd like the idea that you primarily use computers to initiate the art. Everything else is done by hand, but those beginning images I use digitally and I convert them to lines and I have machines cut vectors, but I'm doing things photographically now where I'm carving with a special UV process. And it's all science related because I'm really fascinated with science. I, I took a, a test once, a um, two day aptitude test, and they said I'm half scientist, half artist. So. I decided to become an artist who is inspired by science. This is an experiment, basically, to see how the carving up into the glass uh, looks from the side, as if this were a little universe in and of itself. My work is primarily about texture and repeating forms that I see everywhere, from images from nature to man-made things. If I make something so unique and so original that it doesn't exist anywhere else, that really grabs your attention. But it has to mean something as well. So these images from under the scientific microscopes that you see where it's an electron scanning microscope, makes these very beautiful organisms, looks just like the kind of sand carving that I have done. And so there was this synergy there that, that it Science looked like what I was etching, and it started to resonate with me, and now I really want to make a body of work that describes what is going on right now in this really uh, interesting, but somewhat uh, scary to the average person, science. Make it visible, make it tactile, and create a dialogue so that we can figure out whether or not it's being done responsibly and how it can benefit us. This particular field, the bioengineering and engineered organisms, creates such passion in people, positive and negative, that that's an area that I would very much like to touch on. This is a cause and a subject I really believe in. And I think that, that tapping in to the power of human emotion is a wonderful, wonderful idea. If I'm really this artist who wants to explore new things every time and I want to be able to support myself doing it, then doing things out of, out of glass, which is an exotic material, especially when you get light to pass through it, it's changing the nature of the glass using photographic processes from scientific research that really is what fascinates me. What a long journey it's been to get to this point. This is more a direction I'm going using primarily glass um, to call attention to what I see in structure and form and texture around me and how I see it being combined in the sciences. It being those natural evolved structures and forms from nature, how those are being combined with human research and this material lends itself very well to describing how things look under the microscope. It looks just like what you see under the microscope. So I'm using it as a way to make a visual, a tactile reference and connection that people can look at, touch, and think about how things that are just far too tiny to ever see, much less wrap your head around the concept of how scientists are using them to benefit us. All these kinds of radical new sciences. But like any new science, I think it's really going to change things and has the potential for great good. And I'd like to address that. I'd like to make art that makes us talk about how that can happen.